Today, we're diving into the world of architectural patterns. You've probably heard of MVC, MVP, and MVVM, but how do these patterns work in practice? We'll explore this through a practical example, so stick around to see how a simple action progresses through each pattern. Let's start with a bit of history. The MVC, or Model View Controller pattern, is almost half a century old. It was a groundbreaking approach that separated UI, data, and control logic to allow developers to focus on these pieces individually. But as technology evolved, so did the complexity of our applications. This prompted the need for new patterns. So what's common among these patterns? They all share the V for view, which is what users interact with. It's the face of the app. It's responsible for presenting content and capturing user gestures and inputs. Then there's the M for model, the brain that manages business logic and data. It's the part that cares about how data is stored and manipulated. The real magic happens in the translators, the controller, presenter, and view model components that mediate between the view and the model. This layer ensures that the view and the model can communicate without being directly linked. To better understand how these patterns work, let's explore a simple example, a user updating their profile picture. MVC, the granddaddy of them all, connects the model directly to the controller, which in turn updates the view. When the user picks a new picture, the view sends this action to the controller, which then updates the model. Once the model is updated, the controller tells the view to refresh the display. It's a straightforward flow, but can lead to a bloated controller as the app grows. MVP introduces a more prominent presenter that handles UI logic, transforming model data for display, handling user inputs, and coordinating model and view updates. This keeps the view simple for rendering pixels, while the presenter drives UI behavior. When the user selects a new photo, the view notifies the presenter. The presenter then updates the model, formats the new data, updates the view with the new picture, and handles navigation flows. By isolating UI logic, MVP enables the view to focus straightly on drawing visuals for cleaner code and testing. MVVM introduces data binding between the view and view model. It enables automatic propagation of data changes in both directions. It reduces the need for explicit update logic. The view model handles syncing raw model data to reflect UI changes automatically. Now when our user selects a new image, the view updates the view model through two-way data binding. The view model persists this change to the model. Any model data updates automatically reflect back to the bound view properties without needing explicit refresh call. By handling bidirectional syncing between view and model, data binding streamlines updates that would otherwise require boilerplate code. MVVC goes further by adding a coordinator layer to oversee navigation logic. Building on top of MVVM data binding, the coordinator centralizes flow control needed for transitions between screens and use cases. In our example, this means moving from the profile screen to image selection, then back again, while managing saving logic. This responsibility is handled by the controller rather than the view model. It allows the view model to focus solely on data handling. Then we have Viper, the most modular pattern of them all. It breaks things down even further with a view, interactive for business logic, presenter for preparing data for the view, entity for raw data, and router for navigation. The view only displays the user action. The interactor handles the business logic of the image update. The presenter updates both the view and the entity, which is the model equivalent, and the router manages the navigation. This modular approach is especially powerful for large, complex applications. So which pattern should you choose? It depends on the size and complexity of your app. MVC might be perfect for smaller projects where simplicity is key. 
MVP steps up when you need more testability. MVVM or MVVMC shines in reactive programming and data binding scenarios, especially with modern frameworks. Viper is the go-to for larger applications where clean separation and scalability are critical. The choice also depends on your team's expertise and the specific challenges of your project. Each pattern has its learning curve and implication on your code base. If you like our videos, you may like our system design newsletter as well. It covers topics and trends in large-scale system design, trusted by 500,000 readers. Subscribe at blog.bytebygo.com.